Good evening. So tonight we have a iPhone XS Max. Already took the LCD off. That's normally the first thing I do when doing these phones. Because if they get water damage, the LCD tends to short out. And if the LCD shorts out, the phone will not start up. So the first thing I would normally do is remove the the LCD. So let's have a look and see. This phone is completely dead. Doesn't work. Even if I plug in the charger, let's do that. As you can see, it's pulling zero. Zero amps. So, oh, well, just had 0.4 amps there. It should up to 0.4 sometimes, but it is completely dead. So, next thing I normally do is unplug the battery. You can also see that somebody forced that connector in. So, the next thing I do. Let's unplug the battery. I take the multimeter, put it in diode mode, put the, gra uh, put the red probe on ground. Let's just get that in focus. I've connected those two connections over there. to connection over there and I don't have a short but the phone still doesn't even turn on if I connect the power so I'm going to connect my little power cable and we're going to use the iPhone it says 8P on the connector and let's move over to the microscope and let's see what's happening. So with the let's plug in this power connector. There we go. We switch on the power supply and we're pulling two and a half amps so let's just see if we can find some heat on this board i'm just dabbing some alcohol on here Ooh, you can see this is getting hot over here but i think that's the source of the problem hang on What's going on here? I see that uh, under full is removed from there. And the alcohol is evaporating from it. Let me just try to get a little bit more in focus. I want to stop shaking around. That's a little bit more alcohol. Oh, that one is bubbling good. So, I think that is our short. Let's remove that capacitor from the board. There we go. And we are pulling zero amps. Push the power button. 100 milliamps. Still 100 milliamps. Try again. Oh, 
100 milliamps, 200, 300. Okay, this phone is definitely booting. So I think we solved that problem. So let's um, connect the screen. Let's move back to the other camera. Let's connect the screen and see if it works. Right, let's see if this boots up or not. Let's plug in the screen. For the LCD. This is the iPhone XS Max. SX. Right, let's plug in the battery. Let's see if it would power on. Nope, nothing on the screen. Let's plug the charger. Let's turn the charger on. Point 0.4, point 0.8. 1.29 amps. There you go. Apple logo. I'll just blur this out if there's any personal information or something that comes up on the screen. I'm not going to put that cap back. Uh, reason for that, it's on the VCC main line. Um, so we can just leave that cap out. There will be no ill effects to the phone whatsoever. There we go. And the phone is working. Thanks for watching and see you. Well, maybe not. Let's assemble it. You didn't see this assembling, so let's assemble it. So, you can unplug this. Come on. Need to switch you off. Okay, switch off. It's the first time working on this on this phone, so no idea how it works. I'm not a Apple fanboy whatsoever, so I just repair them. I don't work. I don't uh, use them. So, screw goes in there. And please don't long screw these boards. I've seen a couple of videos where they long screw these boards. I've just seen STS uh, Telecom's uh, channel where somebody long screwed the board. You also don't need to tight these screws so to the max as long as they just tight enough. Turning this plate goes on over here. This is a short screw going in there. It's a long screw going in here.
As you can see, I didn't tighten the plate down. I'm just inserting the screws. Next one. And the last one. Another thing I found with uh, from the iPhone 10s, this little cable here can be very tricky to remove. So what I do, I just take some IPA, put a dot just underneath the cable, let it sit for a few seconds and then the cable just lifts off. No need to struggle to separate or use tweezers or anything, the cable just lifts off from the board. Alright, that's fully assembled again. Let's uh, put that in. Clip that together. Apple logo. So whilst that's booting, Put in these two screws. By the time we finish booting, we should be in the OS. There we go. Into the OS. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.